we're going to look at using Builder to create a Chrome extension. A Chrome extension is essentially an app that runs within your browser window to provide extra information or functionality. For example, the Loom Chrome extension allows me to start recording my screen in just two clicks, as you can see here. So that's an example of one type of Chrome extension. Today, we're going to be building a simple Chrome extension for the NFT community. Rarity Finder is the Chrome extension that we're going to be building today. And it's a Chrome extension that allows users to check the rarity of any NFT listed on OpenSea in just one click. So let's see it in action right here. So if we are looking at an NFT collection, typically what we would need to do is see the asset number for that asset collection, head on over to Rarity Tools. We'd have to search that collection as well, and then add in the asset ID. So a couple different steps here to find out the rarity of that asset. It's gonna pop up in this window here. What we'd like to do instead is have a Chrome extension whereby we can just see this in one click. So let's give it a try so we can see what our finished product is. So we have Ford Ape here, number 1859. We can click on our rarity finder here. It's gonna open up and we just wanna check the rarity of our Ford Ape. Great, so now we can see what we're building and what we're trying to get to with this tutorial today. For this tutorial, you will need a pro builder account you can do a free two week trial to get started. And once you've created your account, you will see this screen, the project screen, and we're going to create a new project. So we are going to call this Rarity Finder, and then you'll select your region here from one of three, and we will create the project. Once you've created your account and your new project is also created, you should see this screen, which is your Studio Canvas. The Studio has two toolbars, one across the top where we can add pages and elements to those pages, as well as page blocks like a pricing section or a hero section to your page, and patterns, which are essentially uh, like pre-built templates. But for the purposes of what we're going to be doing, we'll be looking at just adding a single page and elements to that page. And on the left, we can quickly navigate to our workspace and pages. We can look at our data and users, our media library, fonts, and so on. For the purpose of building the Chrome extension, we only need one page. So we'll start by adding our first page as a blank page and giving it a name. Great, so we have our first page set up. This is going to be the only page that we need for our Chrome extension. And in the next video, we're going to add and style our page elements.